the possible play for Steel Washington. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be a bad thing for the game. Like, look at where we've pushed stickers to. We've gone from papers and hollows and the occasional foil all the way up to moving stickers in the Source 1 engine. We, it, it's been very hard to do, but people have done it. There are tools that are slowly just dripping their way out. I think so too, I and mean, I think that there's a lot of potential in them. Imagine like a lenticular um, autograph, lenticular. like lenticular teams, te so team hollows, lenticular autograph hollows. Like so, if you're so if you're hitting a lenticular um, team for say uh, Navi, you've got the um, say you've got simple autograph on a background with a moving Navi that moves as you position and change your gun and inspect it, the Navi, like, shifts through the background. So many amazing things we can think of. So many things. I, I'm a... Yeah. I'm a dumbass. I, I'm... <laughs> I'm stupid. This is not going to be... Sticker has the roster and the, 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 the images and the album as well. Yeah, you can... <laughs> he might be getting too old, replaced by Munazi. Yeah, but uh, that's uh, some sort of um, nostalgia to get the uh, autograph. Oh, if you get a Navi uh, lenticular sticker with uh, with a uh, with simple. Yeah. Uh, on the back. Goodness. Yeah, Think of who knows. Um, people's imaginations are always um, always uh, more creative than. They have a passion for the game. Um, yeah. They get involved in the game, so they, they have a good in, uh, game knowledge and plus um, uh, plus uh, a little bit of flair from and also the, the, the of course the solid uh, mm. sort of art, uh, background. Sometimes it creates amazing skins. I, I've seen uh, really nice Dota two skins, uh, CS:GO skins that uh, would probably otherwise would not um, exist if uh, if all developed by the company in house. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I can imagine if uh, the, those teams want to make money, sometimes they, they do some crazy designs with their... Um, Absolutely. Uh, uh, stickers, yeah, and uh, autographs, yeah. So yeah. Many can do. So many things. Um, now, circling back to a, um, yeah. to a more at-home at topic, when, when you're buying for something like a major, say you're... So, when when you're you yourself are purchasing, how many hours a day would you uh, dedicate to this? Mm, well, just w whatever time I have. Um, if I want to purchase, then I just go I just go. Back. Yeah. So in in a week, because uh, you I believe you still have a regular job outside of doing this. No, um, I well I didn't have a regular job. That's why I was able to um, put in so much time uh, when it was feasible. Yeah. Okay, so um, you, I believe you have a job now, though? Uh, not yet. Not yet? So you're still doing this full-time? How many hours... So no, I have, uh, I'm not doing it full-time now. I'm just... Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I will go look after... I will go look for a job. So, um, okay. I will, I will probably land down uh, the kind of job I want to do. Yeah. So during your average day, do you... What, what does Growling's day-to-day -day look like? What, what does it look like regarding your CS investing? Um, do you wake up, grab breakfast, sit at your laptop and just <laughs> buy stuff? Like, or do you no, no, no. organise? Um, there's nothing like that. It, well, it's a very good question. Um, um, well, I think um, um, well, it's, um, it's different from stage to stage how you, uh, from, uh, from a fresh uh, investor to to having some years under your belt, it's a, it's been very different. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, when when I used to do it, when I started doing it in 2014, it was a hobby, so I wasn't particularly looking at everything. 
answer is just that sometimes well, I, I didn't even I didn't even try to look for opportunities. Um, but um, as a well, Dota 2 player, you wouldn't be a, you wouldn't miss what, what kind of uh, major economy things um, they 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 are sort of releasing. So yeah. Uh, Yep. I didn't really spend that much time then, and I didn't have much money at the time. Uh, unlike unlike Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ducky has been a force to be reckoned with from the beginning. Yes, Ducky. So why we're Ducky talking about some 2014, the 11 days of Dota 2 treasure sale? I yeah. Looked over to thousands of dollars of Dota 2 treasures at 50 uh, cents each. Yeah. Uh, 49 cents. Um. Yeah. Back then, I have only had four thousand or something, like three hundred. <laughs> poor, poor growling. Yeah, poor, poor, poor growling has turned three hundred GBP into, uh, what six hundred thousand GBP by now. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, something. Yeah, if you, uh, you can't. Yeah, this this market value is too good to be true. <laughs> I know. To imagine telling uh, any regular investor into stocks that you've turned three hundred dollars into six hundred thousand, and that <laughs> that it's legit. <laughs> uh, well, it's different though. Um, it is. Because, uh, if you think about it, I think um, uh, well, with CFDO, there are a lot of mundane tasks you have to do. Uh, if well, that's why probably the uh, the people in finance they. They don't work on work on. Yeah. Uh, well, for them, buying and selling is, is easy. Yeah. You have to do a lot of work. Um, you have to do a lot of research. Uh, on what's the right um, what's the right price to buy in and, and all yep. of that. So yeah. So um, and also if you imagine some people who is a bit wealthy, I don't, not very wealthy. They they have a million, a few million pounds, or they have uh, tens of millions, or even billionaires. Uh, they 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 wouldn't spend this many hours to just, just to get this little bit of money. Five percent a year is uh, good enough. I I love that um the, the scale still changes so much. There are lots of people that look at you as this incredibly successful investor, this person who's who, who's made an insane life changing amount of money, and then yourself, Ducky, a few others look at it as. All right, cool. Here's my stepping stone. What's next? Where's my where, where's my million GBP? Where's my ten million GBP? Well, like it's it. It's the power of compounding. I think. Yeah. Uh, later, we might yeah we might not be able to buy because this whole market is still limited in its size. Uh, well, I I will soon eventually have to um, put money elsewhere. Eventually, yeah. Um, I know. Uh, I understand that you occasionally, when you need some money, you'll sell some butterfly knives, but that's not something that you can really realistically do all the time, or you'll crash the price of them. Uh, yeah, but, but really, uh, well, for new contacts, and especially women, you probably won't, you know, sell that many, so you, even if you just sell a skimper, yeah. then that's going, to, uh, that's going to be okay, I think. You can, you can easily get tens of thousands of pounds out yeah you don't need to crash your price even on skin for it's about one uh one six three yeah but uh i believe if you're with because you're chinese i believe and you're able to withdraw from buff uh directly yeah uh yeah but yes yeah. i have uh, put away a lot of um, yes I yeah does that mean you have to pay taxes in china Okay. Oh, thank you, Misa, for plugging the um, plugging the link. Uh, it will appear up on the YouTube channel as well. Hashtag ad. Skinport.com slash r slash hostile. <laughs> um, so, how... And also, um, well, yeah, let me uh, just 
to get back to what I was talking about. So, yes. so how, how I grew as a investor, I think we, we go through, we were the phases. I think wherever you are, I think you go through the phase, phase, different phases. Um, I think um, I, I made the same, I made the mistake. Every, every trader, uh, even in the real financial world, is going to make too. Uh, so I was, I was seriously looking at everything to try to max out what, what I can run and so what we can run faster. Uh, starting from uh, winter 2016. Yeah. I had about 4,000 uh, Steam Wallet fund, uh, 4,000 funds Steam Wallet fund at the time. Um, initially, I was, uh, I was, uh, well, well, I was grabbing all the returns available in Dota 2 because I wasn't really, uh, well, I wasn't really into that uh, fetch run run at that time. So, uh, initially, yep. I did over sort of 11,000 11, uh, GBP by April. Yeah. Uh, 2017. That's just a few months. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. But then mm, you start to you start to force the opportunities. You start. Well, at that time, I, I think I was a bit crazy. I was uh, I was looking at the market all the time. I said, uh, well, not at the time. Uh, so yeah. So I, I went. Yeah. So that's so we not necessarily afford. And then you, you start to trade out the border, etc. So then I lost I lost a lot of a lot of money doing that. Yeah. Until real opportunities start to come. Yes. Had, had I was into had I played H one D one because that, that at that time uh, I was uh, mainly still uh, focused on, on games that uh, I I know a bit. Uh, well, CSGO I can't say I'm an expert. I, I know a little bit, uh, but I, I was really um, playing CSGO, into CSGO. And uh, I was uh, really into Dota, so I was mainly doing everything in Dota. Yeah. Um, but mm, really, H one D one. Well, probably at that time, there were opportunities in H one D one Battle Royale, um, and then later PUBG. Uh, but I wasn't look, looking at those. I was oh. too hyper focused at that time. Oh um, man, so PUBG. Opportunities in Dota too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a, it's a, well, I'm, I'm yeah. Initially, and they, 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 they did kill a little bit of that profit later with trade funds. Yeah, so um, so the, the, the thing is, um, if there are opportunities, you, you have to wait for them. Yeah. And Even if you have a wallet fund, that's not a problem. I think that's something that people really struggle with. I still, uh, <laughs> I still struggle, like, looking at wallet funds uh, sometimes, where I see them and I'm like, I want to spend it. I, I want to not have it sat here when that's not necessarily um, the best the, the best thing to do with the money. I will go, oh, do I want to just buy another 500 Stockholm capsules? No, I have to stop myself. I, I just have to stop because holding wallet funds, I think at the moment, is really, really, really beneficial. Um, so, like, I've been getting buy orders for recoil cases and the new music kits and i've just been instantly turning those over for um like a dollar profit per case so <laughs> it's slowly slowly getting there um but we'll yeah, see i think that you have to you have to grind or you have to uh, grind it a little bit so initially mm. definitely i was grinding too so um, i can totally see that and yeah, yeah. and also if Yeah, I'm trying to get. I used to try and snipe things on the market, and that takes yeah, a lot of time. Yeah, it does. Uh, oh, but I didn't. I didn't really. I didn't do that for long though, because uh, initially I set myself the goal that I want to, I want to get the money from investing, not yeah. not trying to. I I knew I knew how you can sort of uh, uh, earn because you can you you used to be able to flip even CSGO keys. You can buy them and sell them on. Well, the, the, it wasn't bath at the time. The Chinese thing. Uh, the Chinese website. Mm -hmm. Then you probably earn a sort of uh, two cent ca two cent cash uh, every time, and then I wasn't trying to do that. Yeah, you'd have to almost automate that, which is dangerous. No, you didn't have to automate that, but it takes a lot of time, and then also yeah. it's a it's a it's a what sort of it's this the people people are not taking well not taking a risk with uh, those investing they, they just um, yeah um, yeah they're just doing it um, 
So it's yeah. a, like a like a um, like a draw, like a very mundane, not nothing financial. Then, um, that, that's a, that's what it is. Yeah. So I had a, only a few thousand pounds. It was probably I can probably draw the money faster by doing that. But then I just didn't want to do that. Yeah. I mean, fair enough. You, it feel, it looks like you've made the right decision by not doing that. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can do some flips to end up with three accounts with max. I eventually would like three accounts with max wallet to buy into uh, into something, a, a, a few large positions. But it's gonna take time. Like maybe max market on. Um, so you have a day job, so you don't. I do. You cut a rate. You do. Don't worry. You you don't necessarily have to do this for the full thing. You just can save a bit bit of money, put into the uh, investing. That, that, that is also fine. Yeah, and that's what I try and do. Every uh, basically every paycheck, I put a little bit. I'll put say a hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, buy a skin, mm. and sell it for um for balance balance basically. And so so everyone knows the stage, though. I think uh, you are probably a bit eager to, to get on it, and so uh, you you sort of uh, in, you invest the two thousand capitals into into it, um, and Antwerp, not too bad. Yeah, uh, I think to I I wanted to hold back on Antwerp because I went really deep into Stockholm, really really deep, mm. and I I looked at how Antwerp was going and just looked at it as. A mu- I, I viewed it as a much higher risk and it seems my my decision on that paid off having a little bit for diversity's sake which I have sold I sold all my contenders autos for two three cents profit um, and I've got random hollows the auto yes for An- Antwerp I sold a lot for two three cents profit which I was happy with um, Stockholm, I'm still holding the majority of um, uh, of that. Why are you planning to sell your Stockholm? Now? Um, I probably won't sell my Stockholm for a, a while. I might sell um, I might sell some in a year because a year's not that long, but it, the supply isn't that great. So I'm happy to sit on that one for for one for for another year, and then I'll probably sell sell half. See the argument of not holding. Yeah. Um, so yeah, well, I think um, uh, both you and I uh, know there's a channel called the Magic of the Gathering uh, channel for, for Alpha Investments. Yes, Alpha Investments. Like what's the like uh, in Alpha Investments saying? Um, um, you get different kinds of risk, and when you are buying fresh um, capsules from the majors, just like this time you yep. buy Antwerp capsules, it's a bit like. Uh, buying um, newly released, well, new re- new release boxes. Kind of, yeah, the uh, what is called the new uh, booster boxes. Yes, it, ab- absolutely the same. Yeah, so the so the if you are gambling on something that's probably going to not print for for them soon, for me, for us, is uh, the the major is done. The sell probably is going to end. So we we buy those capsules. You you gamble yep. on new, new stuff. Sometimes you get uh, something like Stockholm and you earn a lot of money. Sometimes you get uh, some losses. And um, so it takes a while to make that money. But yeah. that that's something that we've learnt from Alpha Investments is that when you so you're not investing in the stickers but investing in the capsules. It's like investing in single cards versus boxes. The older the the older the boxes get the higher the the more differential they get from the value of the items inside like an like say an urza's saga box is ten thousand dollars but the expected value is like two and a half three thousand dollars like krakow capsules are 40 australian dollars but their expected value is about 20. that's not too bad um yeah It, that same as a booster box. That that that's why the comparisons is made. The individual stickers 
will probably not go up. There'll be some that go up a lot more, but they'll the majority of them won't go up as much as the capsule will. 